Hello, 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 everyone. I hope you're all doing well and you're feeling fantastic. You're ready for more of our 2012 Fairmap paper. We're looking at question 23 now. All right. A bowl contained 320 grams of pure white sugar. Mixture Y was formed by taking X grams of the white sugar out of the bowl and adding X grams of brown sugar to the bowl and then mixing uniformly. Okay. So each sort of gram of our mixture Y contains the same amount of brown as it does, well, the same amount of brown as any other gram, the same amount of white as any other gram. Okay. In mixture Y, the ratio of the mass of the white sugar to the mass of the brown sugar in lowest terms is W to B, white to brown. Mixture Z is formed by taking X grams again of mixture Y out of the bowl. So that'll have some part of it white, some part of it brown. And adding X grams of brown sugar to the bowl and then mixing uniformly again. Uh, in mixture Z, the ratio of the mass of white sugar to brown sugar is 49 to 15. Now, when we take out X grams each time, we add X grams. So the total amount of sugar is still 320. I can figure out how much uh, brown is actually left at the end and how much white is actually left at the end. What they're asking for is what's X plus W plus B. I think it's probably easiest try and work out x, w, and b on their own. I don't think there's going to be a nice quick equation uh, for, for these. Okay. So, um, 49k we, we, is the white mixture in z. 15k is the brown in z. But it must add up to 64k, which is the total 320 grams. Grab a calculator here, or you can do it and do the, the math on your own. 320 divided by 64 is 5. So K is 5. And so that means we're going to have uh, 15 times 5, 75 grams of brown. And then we're going to have 49 times 5, uh, 245 grams of white. That's what's left over at the end. Okay. So we can almost imagine a process. Uh, we can we can count the amount of white, the total uh, content of the white sugar and the brown sugar. We start with 320 grams of white and no brown. We take out X white and we add X brown in. That creates mixture Y. Then we take out X again and add X pure brown back in and we're left with 245 grams to 75 grams and that becomes mixture Z. Okay. So is there a way to describe using these numbers how to get to these numbers? And indeed there is. Okay, uh, And you can do this with the W and B. I don't think I'm going to, uh, but you absolutely could. Uh, so if the ratio, I'll just explain how to do it with W and B for, for just a moment. If the ratio of the white to the brown sugar is W to B, that means for every W plus B grams, B of them is just brown sugar, W of it is just white sugar. So if you want to scale that down, if that's W plus B grams, a single gram that you pick has B over W plus B grams of brown and W over W plus B grams of white. Okay? And then, oh, you're taking out X grams? Well, then you'll have X. I suppose we could put the X on top, couldn't we? You'll have XW over W plus B grams of white. And you'll have XB if you're taking out X grams. Okay? So we can use that. We can use any ratio. It doesn't have to be the lowest terms ratio. I think if we find w, or if we find X, we can then just figure out what these numbers are. And, you know, if it's if it's 16 and 4, then the lowest ratio is 4 to 1. That sort of a thing. All right. So I know the total here, W plus B is 320, okay? So we might say each, so every X grams of mixture Y has X times 320 minus X over 320 grams of white, and X times X, so X squared over 320 grams Okay. 
Uh, so I guess we could say this is 320x minus x squared. So now, to get mixture Z, you start with the 320 minus x grams that are in Y, and you remove this amount of white when you take this amount of mixture Y. But we know how much white that's going to be. That's going to be 245. And this should be enough to solve for x. Alternatively, if you don't want to use this equation here, you could say, all right, how much brown did we have? We had x. This is how much we remove when we take away x grams of mixture y. This is how much brown we remove. And then they added x grams back in, and that gave us a total of 75. Okay. Either equation is fine. Actually, I think this one might be the cleaner one to use. So 2x minus x squared over 320 is 75. Ah, let's multiply by 320 on both sides. So 640x minus x squared. And we get to 24,000. But this is a quadratic that we should be able to solve. Um, so if we rearrange this, we'll get to x squared minus 640 plus 24,000 equals zero. Uh, for some reason, oh, I can't imagine why, I can't think of two numbers that easily multiply to uh, 24,000 and add up to 640. So we might have to use the quadratic formula. Um, yeah, it's the, well, I suppose two, two, 240 times 400. No, that's way too small. Uh, maybe, oh, uh, could 320 times 320? No, that's too big. 480 times 660? No, that's not going to work. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to break it down and use the quadratic formula because I don't want to try and get... I'm sure it is just whole numbers because if we look at our answers here, they're all integers. And w and B will, we should be integers, so... Uh, it's negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So that'll be 320 plus or minus. What's 640 squared? Uh, 409,600 minus 4 times 24,000. 313600. Does that have a nice square root? I feel like it doesn't, but. Oh, yeah. Six, uh, sorry, 560. So 320 plus or minus 560. Oh, uh, well, 560 over 2, so I got to divide that by 2, so 280. Okay. So x is either 40, if you subtract, or something way too big, 600. Obviously, it can't be 600 because what do we do in the actual question? You have 320 grams and you remove, how would you remove 600 grams if you only have 320 total? So X has to be 40. Okay. And 40 times 600, yeah, that works. All right. I'm sure somebody out there saw that, but I had to use the quadratic formula and there's no shame in that. All right, so x is 40, and from there, now we can go back and say, all right, we started with 320 grams of white, zero of brown. We ended with 245 and 75. We added in 40 of brown, and we removed 40 of white when we added in the brown. And we could go ahead and double check that this x and y do then, for our next step, produce these numbers. Quick check for that. We know x equals 40 will solve this equation, but does it solve this one? So really quickly, that would be 280, 320 times 40, minus 40 squared, would be 12, uh, 11,200, 11, divided that by, divide that by 320, that would be 35. And what, wouldn't you know it, 280 minus 35 is 245. So we're even more confident in our X now. All right, so x is 40. Now, w to b is 280 to 40. 
you can divide by four on 40 on both sides you'll get seven to one so w is seven b is one so x plus w plus b is going to be 40 plus 7 plus 1 48. so that should be our answer 48 is uh right there it's the smallest value we could have not that that really impacted anything and we get our answer of a and there we go so that's question 23 all squared away uh up next we're going to take a look of course at question 24 and then 25 so we have only two more questions to go on our fair map paper i'll see you for those in the future take care